All right, we are back with another Jack Reacher book review. This time we're talking about book number eight in the Jack Reacher novel series, The Enemy. This is, as I said, book number eight, but it is also the third in the series to be written in the first person. And I think, for the most part, fans of the books, including myself, are delighted when they open a Jack Reacher novel and find that it's written in first person. It's like Christmas morning if you only got Christmas morning every four or five years or so. So I guess it's it's, it's probably more like leap year. If leap year were more like Christmas, I don't know. Anyway, this book is the first prequel in the series, taking us back to Jack's time in the army when he was part of the 110th MP. This book is set in 1990 on just after New Year's and the fall of the Berlin Wall, reunification of Germany, uh, and and that's the setting we're dealing with here. So Reacher gets a call just after midnight on New Year's Day that a two-star general was found dead in a nearby motel. He's called out to investigate, and the general seems to have died from natural causes. But the circumstances are strange. He was clearly there meeting a female that was not his wife. Uh, he was 300 miles from where he should have been. And shortly after this, they find that his wife has been murdered as well, only hours after he was reported dead. Did I say murdered as well? He wasn't murdered. He was found dead. Anyway, all of his belongings are still there, except for one thing that's missing is a briefcase that could hold the secret to what's really going on. Uh, so in the midst of all this, Reacher gets a call from France that, you know, his mother is sick. And he he and his brother Joe go to visit and, and say goodbye to their mother. And this is really cool because, you know, we don't, after reading Killing Floor, book one, we know that Joe is dead, present day. So this is kind of cool to see more of, of Jack and Joe's relationship. And also, I'm really glad something they did with the Reacher TV series, which just aired a few weeks ago. Um, I was really glad that they included parts of this book in that story because they were showing flashbacks of Jack and Joe's relationship, and they used stuff specifically from, you know, this visit to Paris. So I, I just thought that was a really great inclusion in the TV series. I'm really glad they did it because it, it you know, it made Joe's death mean a lot more. Uh, but yeah, so we're all the way in book eight, like I said, before we get any real Jack and Joe interaction. So anyway, great stuff. Uh, if you, you know, this is a good book for getting to know Jack Reacher. This is like fills in little gaps in the Jack Reacher lore. You know, if you're new to the books and you come across this, you're like, oh, that this is where this comes from. This is where that comes from. So that's one good thing. That, that comes from the fact that there are prequel books, and there's so much history about Jack Reacher actually put down in the novels. All right, so, yeah. This this whole, like, trip to France thing with their, their mother being sick and, and, you know, possibly dying, it it's like, it, it kind of reminds me of, of losing my mother last year. That It's like, I didn't really think of that the first time I read this book, but having lost my mom in 2021 and then hearing this story of these two men, you know, potentially losing their mother and, and just the feelings that they go through and stuff like that. It's uh, it it hit me completely different. And this 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 book definitely meant a lot more to me this time around and not necessarily because of like the, the story and the twist and, and the mystery that unfolds and all that. But all these little things, these character moments and stuff, that's the stuff that I really like in this story. And normally it's different. For me, I usually, I love the action, I love the, the banter, I love the, the mystery, um, you know, the clues and, and solving. Yeah, but this one, like, just specifically, really had a, a bunch of great character stuff in it, and just kind of like, delving into who is Jack Reacher, who is Joe Reacher, you know, who is his mother, father, like, things like this that, that, that we don't know much about. Anyway, I, I just, because I think mainly because of, of losing my own mom last year, um, it, it made me kind of feel what was going on in the book this time through it. Anyway, um, so Jack and Joe 
spend a couple days with their mother talking about old times. And uh, when they fly back to the United States, Jack is arrested by military police. Now, it's all bullshit, but but basically, you know, another murder has happened, and a higher up is basically telling Reacher, you need to bury this, you know, stop investigating any of these things, um, or else, or else I'm going to frame you for this murder. Uh, now, Reacher agrees, but we all know better. You know, so what's Reacher do? He, well, he digs in deeper, you know, with the help of his faithful Lieutenant Summer that he has recruited to help him out. Um, uh, you know, another female partner like Jack Reacher gets in a lot of his books, a lot of his stories. He's teaming up with a female partner to, to solve a mystery. Um, and sometimes it's plutonic. Sometimes it's romantic. Um, I don't want to ruin it for you. I don't want to ruin it for you. I prefer the books where it's plutonic, to be honest. Like, some of them are great. There's really passionate, great stuff that happens, like, um, in Bad Luck and Trouble. I'm really glad the romance happened in that story. Um, and then The Affair, I think that was really good. There's really, like, intense uh, moments in that book between him and, and the, the, the female protagonist. But you never know which way it's going to go. Because Jack always seems to be somewhat attracted to his partner, but you never know. It's like a will they, won't they. You know, at all times. So, anyway, read the book to uh, to see how that unfolds. Now, while they're working for the case, uh, I, I I noticed this little bit of information that I wanted to bring up. We get the year of Jack Reacher's birth, which is 1960, and he is 29 years old in this book, which is very early 1990. So, you know, if the years happened in our actual timeline. And if a year actually passes between each book, you know, uh, this puts Reacher around 60 something years old right now in 2022. But I personally don't believe the books happen like that. I don't think, you know, just because it's 2010 in real life when the book is published that it is 2010 in the story. But, you know, it's not perfect. It's hard to write and include certain technology and things like that and not date something. So, you know, who's to say like, in Reacher's world, it can still be the early to mid 2000s, right? You know, it might not be 2022 right now. Anyway, that I just thought that was interesting. And another little nugget that kind of surprised me is the fact that Jack Reacher was known in his younger years to smoke weed from time to time. And I think it's the first time it's ever mentioned, maybe, maybe the last time it's ever mentioned in any of the Reacher novels or short stories. But yeah, Reacher admits that, uh, you know, he was never a heavy marijuana user, but he did engage in the ganja from time to time. Anyway, I just thought that was a, a cool little factoid. I'm guessing most people would get wrong, you know, if asked about it in a, a trivia contest or something like that. Um, but yeah, just a little insight, a little personal perspective some in this story that, that, that I enjoyed. Because it, it's cool. Like, you wouldn't get it. If this book was written in the third person like most of the novels are, you might not have gotten that little bit of information, but it's literally just Jack thinking. He doesn't say it out loud to anyone. It's just him thinking about his past. So, yeah. Anyway, interesting little fact. So, several more murder uh several more murders happen. There's a general, there's the general who died. Um there is this other person, this Delta Force guy named Carboni who was killed on base, and then there's this I think it's a colonel, I could be wrong, uh that is killed in Columbia, South Carolina while there with his wife. So the bodies are piling up, and it, it's a real mystery to be solved. And the higher-ups in the military are trying to bury the whole thing. Like, we don't know if it's because of the potential embarrassment of the circumstances in which these people were murdered or killed or found dead, or if something more nefarious is going on. Also, Reacher figures out that at the same exact time that he was pulled away from where he was stationed and moved into this temporary duty station where he's at now, uh, at the same time, th there were a few dozen other MP officers around the world that he knew or knew of that were maybe the best of their kind. For some reason, they were all shuffled around to very specific places and put somewhere by higher-ups, and all the orders are signed by Colonel Garber, who, by the way, is, if you don't know, is a recurring character in the Reacher novels. He's in several of the books, uh, I'm sure we've already talked about him in a previous review. Garber is always showing up. But anyway, the, the orders are all, the orders for all these people are signed by Colonel Garber, but Re Reacher thinks 
better of it. You know, he, he, he thinks that these orders were clearly forged with Colonel Garber's name. So later in the book, Reacher and Joe actually returned to France after a quick stop in Germany, uh, this time with Lieutenant Summer tagging along. And, and I don't want to give away anything else about it, but, you know, uh, another neat little trivia fact that we throw out for Reacher fans. In which book did Jack Reacher first smoke a cigarette? And the answer would be The Enemy. Like I said, I've read this before, but a lot of these little things like the smoking of marijuana and smoking a cigarette, I completely forgot about. I completely forgot about that. Anyway, I just thought it was an interesting little moment uh, because we know present day retired from the army Jack Reacher does not smoke cigarettes. All right. You guys know that for the most part, I do not like to spoil these things for people uh, that may not have read it or haven't read it in a while and have maybe forgotten the twist or conclusion. I'm happy to discuss spoilers in the comments if you guys want to chat about it. I'd love to talk about it in the in the comments. I, I will interact with you if you leave a comment below. Um, and yeah, any spoilers are invited. Let's talk about it. All in all, I will say this is a solid Reacher novel. I don't think I would put it in my top 10 but it's definitely a, a middle of the packer for me. A little less action, uh, at least for the first half of the book. Uh, so it, it's more of a detective story. And that's great. I, I enjoy that. But I like when there's a little bit more brutal action thrown in as well. You know, not just not to say that the story doesn't have some. There, there's definitely a fantastic fight scene early on that I, that I absolutely love. But yeah, I mean, honestly, for the most part, I'm not a huge fan of the prequel books. Like I said, uh, you know, they're kind of middle of the road for me. I wasn't a huge fan of Night School. Um, I, I really did like The Affair. That is the one prequel book that, that I just think is top-notch, and I would definitely put inside my top ten of Reacher novels. Uh, like I said, this one doesn't cry, quite crap the, uh, crack the top ten, but solid, solid, solid story. Um, not the best one I've ever read, but it was a great mystery. Now, when this thing comes unraveled and, and Reacher figures everything out, holy shit, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. It really is. Like I said, the, the only reason I wouldn't put it in the top 10 is like the lack of action. Um, but when it comes to the story unfolding and the mystery uh, revealing itself, it's a damn good one. Uh, I will say that this book has a shit ton of characters. Uh, sometimes it's a little hard to keep them straight, but but like I said, by the time it's unfolding at the end, You've got it all figured out. It takes until close to the end for you to r realize who all the characters are and what they did and how they fit into the story. But as Jack is figuring it out in his head, you know who is who. So it works out by the end. It gives you plenty of time in this story to figure everything out. Um, otherwise, yeah, solid, really solid story. And I would definitely recommend checking it out. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this review, um, I have a ton more Jack Reacher reviews on the channel, and I've also reviewed every episode of the Reacher series from Amazon. Uh, go check that out if you're interested. I have a playlist for those and for all the book reviews. Uh, I think I've done about 10 of the books so far, and I plan to do every single one of the books one by one. So if you're interested in that, subscribe for more. But that's not all I do here. On this channel, I also like to talk about pop culture, entertainment, uh, just anything that interests me really and i try to do it daily now, i'm not perfect but i try to put out some sort of content every day so if you're interested in that please subscribe to the channel and if you decide to do that if you decide to stick around and subscribe or favorite or follow the podcast daily bs then i will talk to you again tomorrow thanks <laughs>